What's up guys, this is my video on how to install the Foxhound ROM on your Galaxy Note 3 N9005. This tutorial works with the N9005 variant only. You must be rooted and should have a custom recovery installed to install this ROM. If you don't know how to do so, hit link 1 from the description. Once done, hit link 2 that will take you to the XDA page from where you can download the ROM. Download the ROM, transfer it to your internal or your external memory card. And once that's done, you need to get into the recovery mode by pressing the up volume, power and the home button at the same time. Hold the up volume, power and the home button at the same time. Keep holding it till you see the Galaxy Note 3 displayed on the screen. Okay, you can let go the keys once you see this. On your recovery mode, use your volume keys to navigate and the power button to select. So go on to wipe data slash factory reset, select it and hit yes wipe all user data. Once done, again go on to wipe cache partition and do a wipe cache. That's done, go on to advanced and go to wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes. Now that's done, go back. Go to install zip, choose zip from SD card if it's on your internal and choose zip from external SD card if it's on your external. So here I have the Foxhound ROM, select it and hit yes install. So wait for the ROM installer now. So guys this is the ROM installer for this ROM and you need to do a proper selection. Otherwise, you might get some first close issue with this ROM. So next, select Essential and make sure you choose the stock kernel. Next, uh, this is optional whether you want to choose the Apex launcher, the Nova launcher or the TouchWiz launcher. So I will be using the TouchWiz launcher. So here, make sure you choose the stock MMS Samsung application and hit next. So here you can choose the theme for the dialer. I want the Foxhound dialer. So here you can choose your uh, AOSP applications like the calculator, clock and the calendar. You can choose your preferred ones. This is totally safe. Make sure you do not install the Samsung keyboard but you need to install the AOSP keyboard instead. Next. So here you have your camera options for your Photosphere. You can enable Photosphere if you want and uh, you can install the default camera application from the Samsung. Next, so here this is the theme installation. Whether you want the Galaxy S4 theme or the Foxhound theme. So I will be choosing the Foxhound theme. You can choose the one you like here as well. Next. So this is for the performance tweak. You can choose any one of them from these three options. So I will be choosing the SQ Lite tweaks and hit next. So here we have the boot animation options, the font and the flash player. So I will be using the Di Foxhound Diamond uh, boot animation. The smaller font that you get with this ROM, you also can install the stock ROM if you want to. And I want the flash player. Now hit next and hit install now. So wait for the installation to complete. So the installation is complete, hit next, hit finish and the phone will automatically reboot I guess, do not worry, okay. Now hit reboot system now and make sure you choose no here. So wait for the phone to boot back. So guys we are up here, let me just skip through this basic setup.
So here we do get this new icons uh, for the dialer from the KitKat. We have this new Play Store icon, toggles. So I will be covering all this in my full review. First let's go on to settings. About device. So this ROM is based on the Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. And uh, this is the Foxhound ROM. So I will be coming up with a full review very soon. Stay tuned and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now. <laughs>